I've just watched a really good M2 video, that was all. Just like, just like look at that screenshot, look at that. <laughs> Tim will love that still. 116,000. And who's that? Oh, 148,000. Oh. oh, that one must be more popular. Yeah, I think. And I think he knows what he's talking about. Oh. Yeah, yeah. That's, oh, oh this, he's also much better looking. He's a good looking chap. He is, yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, I'm down here at Berry BMW in Croydon with Mr. Tony Lewis. Hi guys. Um, and we're going to spec my M3 Touring. I just want to be open and honest about something. We actually spec'd and ordered it a few months ago, uh, but we did that over phones and emails uh, because I wasn't able to get down here and Tony's just so busy these days, you know, I'm kind of bottom of the pile. So, um, but now, uh, now I'm down here and uh, <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna order it. But what is that a copy of Evo magazine? Yeah, yeah. I just um, I just sort of thought next time, you know, you, if you ever get another opportunity to sort of publish yourself, I just wanted to just add my little bit of editorial to it. Really. Oh, what's sort of that? Like, um, just sort of make so sure, you know, you, my piece, that. my love, yeah, my piece of the M2 competition. If yeah. you haven't seen these write-ups, um, it's really cool. good, really, really um, good. Yeah, I just 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 supplied by TRL. Oh, just thought I'd add a little bit, you know. Yeah, you know. I forgot to. I don't think, have I mentioned, I haven't mentioned you once, have I? No, it's all right, Joe, oh. don't worry. But I've mentioned pretty much everyone, but not you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and I'm it's sorry, not mate. It's not like I've kept every single copy of Evo magazine from, <laughs> from, from, from edition one, is it? And you're probably like, come on, come on, where's my name? <laughs> oh, sorry, mate, sorry. It, it, it will be, I promise it will be. Thanks. In. Yeah, we've still got a couple of issues. I'll keep my go. subscription going then, shall <laughs> yeah. I? Yeah, firstly, thanks a lot, Tony, as always, for, um, for having me down. And, um, That's all right, you've got five minutes. I've got You're five on the minutes, clock. Yeah. <laughs> this does take a lot of time to set up and organise and stuff, so I, I really appreciate Tony's time because he is really busy at the moment. Um, the showroom is looking amazing. Yeah, Because really uh, I think the last time I was down here, even at the beginning of this year, it was looking a lot sparser. And then 12 months ago, it was like ghost town in terms of yeah, like products yeah. you just didn't have it did you? No, that's right when we took over the showroom here we filled it up and it was fantastic and literally i think within a month we were just like sold out of everything and of course we went through all of the challenging times that everybody's gone through yeah um but yeah it's great now that products starting to arrive and we've got a full full load of showroom we've got great used car selection outside because loads of party exchanges have come back as well yeah, a lot of m so, out there yeah well. yeah really it really nice. is it is like a proper little m town going on <laughs> yes. there, <isn't> it? <laughs> yeah. so yeah loving it nice. it's great Cool. Um, yeah, so today, uh, as you've probably seen by the, the, the title of this video, uh, we're going to spec my car uh, as if it was a couple of months ago uh, and just go through the options in general on the new G81 uh, M3 Touring <laughs> competition. I think that's, yeah, that's how it's, yeah, yeah that's what yeah. it's called, isn't it? As you probably already know, I've already had two G-Series cars off Tony. I had the Portimao Blue one, which was the rear-wheel drive M3, uh, which is awesome, absolutely yeah. loved that car, and then traded it in for the X-Drive, not because I, I had any issues with the rear-wheel drive, just because it made sense financially, um, put me in something new, something different, and the X-Drive has been mighty, although I do find myself, my M2 preset is rear-wheel drive traction <laughs> off, and even on days like today where it's been raining and stuff, I just, you know, just, because it's got so much grip even with rear wheel drive. So it's, it's, but it's awesome just having that option there, isn't it? It's like, what do I feel like today? Should yeah. I go X drive or should yeah. I go rear wheel drive? Um, now, of course the Touring is, is gonna only be MX drive, um, which is a sensible thing and only be auto, but all over the world this time. It's not like the UK getting stitched up um, okay, right. I, I, that's what I believe anyway. I believe that the rest of the I world... Didn't, are... I did not know that. It's lovely to get informed because this is how I get my product knowledge. <laughs> well, I, might be talking, yeah. I, might, I might be making that up. That's why I understand anyway. I think it's only auto and only yeah. Um, yeah. A, a competition <clears throat> spec, essentially. So, um, Brilliant. but yeah, it's great to see. So <laughs> is is the configurator actually available to the public yet? Or is it still a bit... So at the time of recording it yeah. should be there was okay. it was it was there at the beginning you know yeah. after goodwood it was available and loads of people used it and sent in their configurations yeah and then for a while it disappeared and i don't know if that was because it was so oversold okay and i'm not sure if today it's back online again so yeah sure. it's all dependent on when this goes out of course so and have you had a lot of uh excitement and i'm not going to ask you how many orders you've had personally yeah, but yeah. there's been a lot of hype i mean even people that I know that wouldn't necessarily look at 
buying an M car have got excited about yeah, this yeah, and yeah. have yeah. thought about buying one as their only sort of all round R. Oh, look at it. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's been a long time coming. I think the only person who's not happy is probably Nick Pritchard. Uh, yes, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Most yeah. of you guys probably know Nick. Yeah, in fact, <coughs> and I'm really gutted. I didn't mention Nick in my M3 walk around video uh, when I went out to Germany, whenever it was, probably nearly a year ago now. Um, obviously, Nick Pritchard, the original M3 Touring, uh, his beautiful F81 yeah. that I filmed, that's, that is the most popular video on my channel. It's on 1.1 million views or whatever. Amazing. Yeah. Um, and for good reason. I mean, that car was epic and fair play to, to Nick for, for, for sort of, uh, there's been a lot since. I know there's some lovely, there's a lovely, like Bernardo Gray M3 yeah, CS yeah, Touring pretty, over in yeah. Netherlands or something. Yeah. But there's there's been a few and then obviously, um, BMW now officially make it, so yeah, unlucky Nick. But um, but yeah, thank you very much, mate. If you're watching this, uh, yeah, I, I do forget to mention you, but brilliant. I think the M340, we noticed the touring has definitely got a, a, a much more hardcore following, and there's a lot more demand for the touring over the saloon. Yeah, and I think that's probably what's been missing with the M3, and why so many people have, have got, there's so much pent up demand where people are like, oh, if they ever made one, I'd buy one, and it's like, well, now it's happening, and. All those people literally have come running to put deposits on the table. So, yeah, yeah for us, we, we've, we've done really well of it. And, and clearly, it's a car that is going to sell out at list price. So I just want to put that on the table yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah. All of my customers are paying list price for this car. Are you changing so, your Instagram? So just uh, telling you that, from, Joe. <laughs> from TRL deals, just to TRL. TRL cars, yeah. TRL, yeah. TRL, yeah. Yeah. TRL Take list. Take it or leave it. Yeah, TRL <laughs> list. TRL so, RRP. Yeah, yeah. but, yeah. It, you know. It, the car's going to make a premium. Let's be honest, they're not going to build enough of these. We, we know that. We've been warned by BMW. Yeah. The allocation's going to be very tight. The car's due in quarter one of 2023. Yeah. And for that first quarter, we've been told not to expect too many cars. So, okay. you know, unfortunately, there's going to be a few people that have ordered really early on and think they're going to get a car straight away. It's going to be pretty tight. And then slowly as we go through the year, the, the production will ramp up. But you know, there's not going to be huge quantities, and I think supply and demand is going to be going to be the issue with this one. So, sure. um, but yeah, yeah. let's um, let's have a look at some colours, shall we? Yeah, let's uh, let's crack on and have a look. <sighs> Firstly, just because I've been doing a lot of M2 stuff recently, and yeah. um, I will be doing a video about specking an M2, not my M2, but specking an M2, uh, and that will be coming to the channel shortly. Um, but with the M2, the one negative that I can see is is the lack of options, the lack of colours, the, the lack of, it's a brilliant car, it's an amazing package, but there's just a lot of, whereas it's refreshing going back to the M3 Touring and just having a look at everything that is available because something that's happened in the past, let's say three or four years uh, with WLTP testing, with EVs coming, with all the manufacturers have just shrunk colors yeah. and options and put it all into packages and got rid of some things and then obviously covid's come along and so then you lose so it's refreshing to see the amount of stuff that is still available on this let's call it a unique model because it's it's, it's an m car which is already unique but it's a it's a, an estate version of an m car um, whether it's going to sell well or not um, it's still a unique car so it's great to see oh that's nice it's what frozen gray oh now the, now the good news is we know we know you've selected what you want, yeah. but it's still spec changeable. Yes. <clears throat> oh yeah, that's yeah, this is true. So so we could wow, we could still does, dangle I mean, dangle a carrot. <laughs> we've we've seen a few in the flesh at Goodwood and stuff, yeah. um, and they yeah. had the frozen black, wasn't it? On this black yeah, one with the gold good. with the did, gold did, air performance wheels did look good. Um, oh. And then and then the purple one. But let's just have a quick glance. So just scroll down. Okay, so the the the, the standard colours. Um, yep, so you've got the nine, nine at the top, yep. um, well I say standard, actually they're not all standard, oh there's Dravic Grey there's in, in there, but yeah just running from top, top across screen, so black sapphire, yep. traditional BMW colour, Portimao blue you're very familiar with, Dravic Grey you're very familiar with, probably our best selling colour in all honesty, yep. Toronto red, not sold too many, looks fantastic, but was you know was a bold choice, pretty much like Sao Paulo yellow was. Yeah. Um, Tanzanite blue is an optional cost colour. Yeah. Isle of Man green, Brooklyn grey, skyscraper grey, and then another individual available Aventurine red. Alpine white solid, and Sao Paulo yellow solid are also available. And then we have three semi individual colours, slightly more expensive: frozen brilliant white, frozen Portimao blue and frozen pure grey, which does look really, really good. Yeah. Frozen Portimao's 
lovely as well. The fro I have to be honest, the frozen white we struggle with a little bit. We've had one on the M3 when it first launched. Yeah. It's very hard to sort of tell the, the frozen part of it. So it is a lot of money and, and we, we haven't sold any since, if I'm honest. I so. can't, yeah. We had one at your very launch season. That's right, that yeah, yeah. That's, that's the only one yeah. I've ever, ever seen, seen in real life. Yeah. Um, so that was the launch colour. So so clearly that's that's quite expensive and not been taken up by many. But there's no. loads of zero cost option colours, as you can see. So there's quite a lot of choice, certainly more than the M2. Sure. So, um, yeah. So you've done Portimao Blue, you've done Dravis. Yeah, let's Blue. just have a look, bring up the Portimao, because I yeah. think, um, I mean, the options in my head, obviously, uh, Portimao looks fantastic. It really does. It oh, really oh. does suit the shape. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Um, it's that free, rear three quarter look, I think, with the bulkiness of it and that colour. It just sort of yeah. picks, picks out all the, all the angles, doesn't it? And it's amazing how different colours look different on different cars. Now, I can't talk, I don't know, if, does everyone no, know you about that? No, you can't, I can't you talk, can't about, talk that about that one. But that particular <laughs> car uh, looks Let's, yeah. so different <clears throat> to yep. an M3 in that particular colour. Uh, but as with Portimao Blue, it looks good on a normal 3 Series, but I remember when my one arrived and we were like, oh, well, it looks totally different, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah. It's it's because of all the flared arches yeah. and yeah. The, the light hits it differently and it's just, it's kind of processed differently yeah. to our eyes. Um, but that does look fantastic. And then, okay, go let's, let's go back to the colours again. Um, Tanzanite I love, but we talked about this in the past. I'm not good at maintaining my paint, as Tony will yes. <laughs> You've no. just seen my car up there. It's not, <laughs> thankfully, Berkeley have, have uh, uh, ceramic coated and PPF'd yeah. it. Um, it's what we call a showroom colour. You'll, you'll walk in, see it in the showroom, and you go, yeah. I've got to have it. Yeah. And within a month, you'll be going, oh. Yes. If you, you've got a ceramic coat it, yeah. you've probably got a PPF the whole car. And never take yeah, it to your local yeah. car wash. And never go to the local yeah. car yeah. wash, yeah. 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 yeah, Which unfortunately is something that I occasionally have to do, so. Um, yeah. So so we can definitely rule that out. Yeah. Uh, now this one surprised you, didn't yeah. it? Yeah, it, it did. Because I think Isle of Man, I really like Isle of Man. I love greens in general. I love the Sonoma green and the Audi, Isle yeah. of Man, your district, district green, that's our Audi colour. Uh, what's the green down there? Signal green, which is yeah. actually a Porsche. Porsche colour. Yeah. That's um, San Remo green that we do on the 4 Series. So. Yes. And we did that on the M135, the Schnitzer car we've That's outside. Right. So that, that looks lovely as well. Yeah. So it's a lovely dark green. Uh, talking just slightly <clears> off subject, um, this is going to go up in a few days. They have got an X5M competition down there with the Ultimate Pack, uh, Silverstone Merino leather interior, mm. uh, in individual Signal green. It is just amazing i mean it's a brave choice but if i won the lottery today yeah, yeah. which i don't play i would have one of them because i love the x5 i've just had that one on the channel i loved it and i thought wow this is a if i could afford to own one and run one but i'd have that one down there yeah. so it's it's available this is this is a cheap plug but it's <laughs> it's amazing it's it's an awesome car anyway it, back to it's a lovely car it's probably a footballer's price car and it's probably a footballer's spec car i mean it's, no it's footballer's bold. price car and not a football spec car. Oh. Football spec car is yeah. something that you yeah. would spec yeah. more. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Crystal Palace, maybe. Yeah, exactly. Wilf, if you're watching, this is for you. Yeah. Anyway. Back to this. So, so yeah, that, how different... Okay, this is graphics, it's a screen. It's a bit darker. But yeah. it's going to look... It will look yeah. different to the, yeah. to the saloon. Yeah, yeah. And I loved, the, I loved it when they launched the, yeah. the saloon in that colour. But they were so popular to start with. That Schmidt, 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 Schmidt bloke? Um, Schmidt, 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 no, not 250. Cheers, cheers, One, cheers, cheers, cheers. Yeah, uh, that guy. He, Tim. Tim. Tim, that's the one, Tim. He got one, he had a saloon. Yes, he did. And uh, He brought it here one day, or he sent one of his guys down with it one day for our... Um, that's our, right, with David. David's, David's memorial. Yeah. Uh, Thank you for that, by the way. Yeah, and it's and it's just I mean you did you saw them everywhere and it kind of it was it was like uh, Long Beach Blue on the M2 Comp yeah no oh, yeah. An, a, original yeah. M2 yeah. beautiful when I see it now it's like oh but at the time it was like everyone had them um, but that's how colours are uh, yeah. they kind of anyway yeah so what's this Brooklyn this is the one Brooklyn. we think we're probably going to sell the most of if I'm honest okay Bro at the moment people just love Brooklyn grey yeah us, but we've never really done a, like a Nardo grey. As a no-cost option colour, it's always been you know three thousand pound individual. Sure. So now it's available, but but it is being, I don't want to say done to death, but it is it's pretty much going on every car. Yeah. So you're seeing it everywhere. But it, it is a, it's the colour of now. So again, yeah. you don't know what that's going to be in in another year or two. But that's that, yeah. I went. That was the one I went up the Goodwood Hill climb. Yeah, in, I think yeah, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, 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 the one that hit the hay bale. Just clipped so, it. So I can tell, Frank, Frank the drifter. I'll tell you, you're not convinced by that one. So we will we'll move on. 
Uh, no, it's nice, but okay. yeah. Uh, and skyscraper, really nice. Yeah. Again, it's very. A, it's effectively, com- yeah, it's replaced mineral grey effectively because yes. we've dropped mineral grey, but it's a little bit lighter. Lighter. Yeah. yeah. I always confuse it with another yeah. one that you guys do. I can't yeah. remember the other. There, there's a few colours that yeah. are very similar. But that's good because it throws the light, as the designers say. Okay. So when, when you see the design features of the car, yeah. you get the light basically dances off the different angles, and that's why it's so many different shades oh. of grey. So it, actually, on a car with lots of creases and curves, yeah. it's a really great colour to, to show off the accent of the okay. car. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's a classy, classy colour. Mm. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, Adventure in red. Yeah. Well, I almost went my X Drive. Almost went Adventure in red because that was a colour they introduced that looks later. Great. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And. And, and, and again, it's one of those colours that if it wasn't just, if it was a personal car and it wasn't yeah. so much, although that would look great in pictures, uh, is the, the, problem, the problem is the touring, in my eyes anyway, and I get that some people don't get touring. Some people are like, why would, what, why would you have an estate car? It's a family car. It's a, but the people that get them, get them. And I think the annoying thing with the touring is everything looks good on it. Yeah. Like literally yeah. everything looks good on that car. How good does that look? I'm looking at that now thinking that, that I'd choose that. <laughs> so, but I've said that about four other colours already. Yeah, so yeah. it's just like, oh, but look at it. Look at that with the red calipers. It's, it's just, just stunning. Yeah. Even the red calipers look good on that on Tony. And a, a light interior on that. Oh, yeah, that just, is, that's lovely. What? And white. Should we, we'll do the white just because, you know, yeah, it's available. Even white looks good. Yeah. Even white looks really good. That tends to lend itself to the M Performance kits, so you know we won't go there today. But you know, white is a great background colour to then add a load of carbon to because yeah. it really highlights, you know, what you've added to it. Yeah, yeah. Moving on, and then yeah, the one that sort of surprised all of us really was was, I mean, that would be that would be rare, wouldn't it? But the only thing is, I still see a bit of cupra about the colour. I still kind of think of say it Cooper's okay. from like, from a little while ago. Oh, I've never. Yeah, uh, okay, I've never. I, yeah, I'm old, so you've got to forgive me. Yeah, so, like, yeah. I think of bronze when I think of Cooper because that's like their yeah. newer. Yeah, the new one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, But um, but I see. I, I, yeah, I see what you're harping back to. But I mean, even uh, even that South Paulo yellow is a cool color. It's a brave color. But that looks look. It just it's it's because of it, it shows it, all the black bits. It's off, the doesn't black it as well. glass. It all yeah. it, it breaks the roof. It, yeah, yeah, it just breaks the whole car. The grills work much better with the car because there's more car behind them, so the grills don't look. The proportions yeah. are better, aren't they? <clears throat> and I remember when I saw that first car in Germany in the studio, and I walked up to it, and it was like the grills look smaller because there's more car behind. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. they kind of it, it just all work. Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> Honestly, any color. Oh yeah, frozen pause would just be. Beautiful, yeah. Oh, it's just it's they do just... frighten the life out of me, though. I, I I had a demo that was frozen paint just for yeah. three months. It was the toughest three months of my life. It's like you just you had to plan where you were going. Yeah. Like you won't go down country lanes with trees and branches hanging out, and if there's like a, a narrow gap, you're just like oh, I don't want to oh. like you know because you you can't polish it out. You know oh, if you put scratches on it, it's yeah. you know it's a matte finish. It, yeah. It, you can you can PPF it, but then. If you've paid all that money to PPF it, you yeah. could have put frozen PPF yes. or matte PPF matte on, on, on satin onto it. PPF yeah. on satin, it. Satin, yeah. that's the word I was looking for. Yeah. You know, and done that to a normal Portimao blue car, couldn't you? Yeah. So, yeah. Um, you know, but it does look fantastic. It does. And it really, it adds so it much aggression to it, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's like military spec almost. Yeah. So, and then we did, we did the frozen grey and we won't do the green okay. and white. So, yeah, so there we go. Yeah. So, um, shall we tell everyone what you plumped for? Well, yes. Spinning wheel of death. Look, where are we going to land? <laughs> Ta-da! Um, so, yeah, I, it's probably going to be a surprise to many of you because it's what my current M3 Competition X Drive is. Um, but I love it. I love the Dravic Grey. Uh, I think it suits the saloon massively well. Yeah. And in fact, pretty much anything in the BMW lineup that, that it's available on. But I just, I haven't seen a touring in it, but I just, I just feel you just it's going to look, yeah, just I know, just know yeah, it's, it's going to look great. Um, it's, it's so aggressive as well, isn't it? It is so aggressive. And and the long-term plan for me is is ordering, because they're available in individual, aren't they? Yeah. Um, proper, like as in yeah. anything. To sample, more to or less. To sample, yeah. signal yeah. green, yeah. whatever you want. Yeah. Uh, so the long-term plan with me, once I've driven one, and I'm sure they're going to feel just like the saloon. Um, is hopefully ordering an individual one that I will then aim to keep, like, you know, not trade it in the year, or actually keep it 
uh, for as long as I can until they make them uh, illegal to drive or ban them, whatever. Yeah, yeah. But um, but that that would be so so. So this one, it wasn't that I was playing it safe. It's just that I actually love the Dravic Great. So, and I just think in the touring, I've also got my Edelweiss wheels, which I know work really well with the Great, and I think they will look even better in the touring. Oh yeah. yeah, um, yeah. So so playing it safe, but don't tune out because it, it, we're changing other bits. <laughs> It'll be the same exterior color, uh, unless I change my mind after this video. Um, but yeah. Oh. So we need some wheels from the factory to get it here. Yes. Um, I appreciate you're going to be putting yours on, but um, you know what? We've got the two designs. We've got the eight two five, the eight two six. Yes. And um, I've I've had eight two sixes up till now, haven't I? You have. Yep. Yeah. So um, yeah, the eight two six you can have as jet black, which is what's been standard on your saloon, yep. and I believe is what's standard on the touring. Yep. There's a no cost option to flip those over to bi color, which is a bi color. Although that's not the design of the wheel. Sure. That's a bi color. So the spokes are just like a chrome color rather than a black blacked out. Yep. Um, and then these are the these are the eight two fives, which you can have in silver or orbit grey. So that's the that's the bicolor silver. Okay. And then the orbit greys are. No, that's the orbit grey. Oh yeah, those ones. Yeah. yeah. Well, they because the orbit grey is very close to the traffic grey. Isn't yeah. It? So we although it was a green car that went out the other day, we had those on a car that went out. They did look really really well on it. So it's yeah. on um, one of our guys' cars that he's really happy with that. I, I just prefer the eight two six design. Yeah, honestly, most people fall in both in one of the one of the camps. It's, yeah. you, you don't tend to like them both. It's like, no, I definitely want that, or I definitely want that. Yeah, um, I prefer so. the eight two six, so I'm going to stick yeah. with them. But I'm okay. not going to go with all black. Okay, so uh, that's the bi color. Yes, there. the bi so. color. Just because I think the car is stealth enough yep. as it is, uh, and I thought I've had all black eight two sixes on the rear wheel drive and on the X drive. So yeah, let's just let's. I might as well. See, I told you I was going to change things up a little bit. Exactly the same wheel in a slightly different colour. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so adventurous, aren't I? Uh, and we just highlight, obviously, you can even on the Touring specify the, the Cup 2 tyres. Um, are they, are they so made by They're made by, by a well-known French brand that we're not allowed to mention. Yeah, oh, okay. oh, all right, Michelin. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, and they're available at £850 um, on the bicolour wheel as well. Sure. But I know, you know, you're you're changing your wheels, so you don't need to. Worry I might about have that, a so. set or two of cup two. You might have, you know, the odd something. one lying around. Yeah. I'm sure that'll fit. Yeah. Uh, and that's the um, jet black, double spoke. Yeah. So. Okay. okay. So we are going bicolour eight two sixes. Yep. Let's go inside the car. And see where we're going to go. So, yeah, as I was explaining to you earlier, we've had in the last few months a uh, a model year change, effectively, and and some of the interiors have slightly. Uh, been amended so just to point out effectively that if you now go for the 300 pound levers in uh, levers God, that sounds proper south levers, London, yeah. it? If you go, <laughs> edit that out yeah. if you go for the 300 pound lever then yasmarina blue or silverstone or in kailami orange as yeah. you can see uh, over there the door pockets door tops of the doors rather all stay black Right. So and there, that's actually a synthetic material, whereas before it used to be coloured leather to match the seat. So my rear wheel drive M3 yep. would have had orange door cards or so not. So your because that didn't have extended on it. No, but your your one was built before the changeover. Right. Okay. So, so yeah. So hence hence they're there. But yeah. now the so only so now one, all that you get in yeah. that colour yeah. are the seats. Yeah, effectively. Okay. So the only one that's that's an exception. I'm not sure how or why, but because it is an individual it's, is the fiona red yeah. and that still gets the red on the door wow so that's so that's, that's good been, value yeah so it? so you know most customers are, are saying let's go with the red lever for that yeah. reason yeah um, of course you can get around it and that's by going for the full upgrade yeah which is the two thousand pound option and then you basically get your full lever seats your full lever doors but what you're paying for in addition is is the knee rolls in full lever yep. the dash top is in full lever yeah. rather than synthetic yeah and the tops of the door frames as well they're full lever so literally it's like as you get on like i say a porsche it's lever everywhere yeah it but does make you know, whenever i borrow a press car they've yeah. always got the ultimate map on them and stuff yeah. and then you get back in that's the only time i do really notice it is when i get back in mine i'm like oh yeah. there's something missing because yeah. the dash don't get me wrong it's still lovely beautifully made you don't think about it once when you're driving no, really no. but when you get it's in only the when car, you when you where exactly or when, you're, yeah, yeah. Or when yeah. 
people like Chris Baron von Grumble, yeah. Mr. Grumble, he gets it. Oh, what's this cheap plastic? <laughs> oh, no, oh, no. You, you've got to have leather on yours. And it's, but then when you see it, um, and it's true. And, and talking of colours, so I obviously had the Kylami orange, which I loved. Uh, maybe it was a bit leery with the Portimao, but I thought they worked quite well yeah, together. Yeah, I, I agree. Um, then I had the Fiona red. Yeah. I can't believe I actually went with red seats. I mean, Tony's obviously influencing me. Um, it's a bit of voodoo power going on there. <laughs> yeah. But I love the Fiona red. And I love the fact that it is an individual. Um, and also, the, uh, the, it is slightly different. Like the So all of this, all the um, bolsters yep. are leather with the Fiona red. Whereas in the non... In all yeah. the other colours, yeah. they're Alcatara. Yeah, yeah. Uh, whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, I don't know. If if you're hard, what I've noticed is I always wear G-Star jeans. That's not a plug, unfortunately. Um, but when they're uh, uh, the, the the red ones, they they get marked. Yeah. Um, they're all fixed, and they're all, yeah. but but they get scratches and marks. Whereas on the on the normal colours, the non Fiona red because of the Alcantara, it doesn't matter, you don't see it. It's much more hard wearing, so just also bear that in mind. Although the Fiona red ones are lovely, they are leather, yeah. they're leather yeah. there. Yeah. And, and But yeah, um, but maybe I'm just talking about the bucket seats, although it could yeah. just be the carbon buckets. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, there could be so many variables in there. Um, let's bring up, because I'm sure I'm going it's, for the it's carbon no, pack. I'm yeah. sure it's no surprise yeah. that you're going for the carbon pack. So I'm let's actually the, let's actually put those back in and then go. Sorry back to Jack from Auto ID. Um, I'm going for the carbon pack. Or, although I say that the lovely uh, Sturken splitter that I've got on the car will end yeah. up going on the touring. Um, but yeah, so there you yeah, go. So, yeah. so that's all Alcantara yeah. Yeah. Uh, or and whatever that, the yeah. fabric is. Yeah. But or, when you, if you go red, that then becomes red leather. And when you're getting in and out, you can it can mark up. So just be a bit cautious that. Um, so I've been uh, Carl Army Orange. Yeah. I've also obviously Fiona Red. Both I like, and both would work very well with the Dravet. Um, black is lovely and classy, whatever, but just doesn't work on camera. And in the UK, this, this time of year, it just gets a bit depressing in there. You can't have a sunroof in the touring. Um, so black, I think, would just look really dark in the back of the cabin. Um, so, oh, and that's an individual, what, that, what's that, ivory white? Ivory white. Wow, look at that, that Which, is cool. That was added quite recently, so yeah. That that's... is that is very cool. And Because um, with the Silverstone, you get a lot of black in there as well. Yes. So I guess this is aimed at people that want that really light interior, but actually want it everywhere. So. Everywhere. And you can see, once again, because it's yeah. an individual ivory, yeah. right? Yeah. The, the bolsters are leather. Exactly. Um, but I'm actually going to go with Silverstone, because I've always loved Silverstone. I uh, recently had the X5M competition that was Silverstone. Uh, my 7 Series, the last one I had from you, um, was Silverstone. And I just love it. And I, and I think it, contra it, it contrasts the dark colours very well, black and grey, especially Dravet grey. Yeah. Um, and I just thought, once again, uh, it will feel like, at least it will feel like a different new car when I get, when I get inside. Uh, but talking on that, obviously, the Touring's now got the curved display. Yep. Um, and that's pretty much the only changes inside. They've, they've yeah, because they kept obviously the, the gear shift. They haven't gone for the toggle on this, yeah. this for, for obvious reasons, the type of car it is. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's the only real change. Um, but nice. it does it does give you all of the, you, the when you're doing the setup and everything. It just it just all seems to integrate better than it did on the earlier ones. Okay. So you're the, yeah, because I've been playing obviously with the one on mine, which has got the new screen on the M3. Oh, of course, yeah, because so, so they got, trickled yeah, that in, didn't yeah. they? Yeah. And I, actually, I'm getting more. I, I prefer the dial pack now. Actually, when you put it into into um, sports spec, yes, I actually prefer the dial pack. They're much cleaner as well. Yeah, on this it's one much, than the graphics, on the earlier. Yeah, yeah so, graphics are really so good. So there's a lot more individualization between that. Yeah. Okay, but um, are, are you going to do the full level? Yes. Yeah, so this is this is yeah this is where we mix it up a bit. Um, I am going to go the full Yay. leather uh, because it just makes the car, especially now they got rid of. The door cards yeah. if you don't go with a full yeah, yeah. Um, and it just will make i think it will make the car feel really special yeah love or hate the curved display and the touchscreen functionality there's no denying that it makes the interior feel so yeah. much more modern um those of you that go around oh bmw interiors are still the same they feel the same now but um they finally changed <laughs> it and people are still complaining about it because that's what we love to do 
Um, I, I just love this contrast with it. I know, I, you know, we appreciate it is all leather, but it's yeah. actually that lightness that you get there. Yes. And I just think it just when you're inside it, you just it just makes the car feel bigger and more spacious. Whereas yeah. when it's all black, it kind of. Yep. Yeah, Very true. It just closes in on you. So yeah, extended Whee. Silverstone Merino. Is it Merino leather? Yeah, yeah. Full, uh, full, full Merino. Full Merino. Yeah. Ex ex oh, extended. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's a bit confusing. It extended uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. is not the full. So, yeah. so yeah, people think extended is 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 the full the full leather, but no, that's yeah. the three hundred pound. So you're going the full two thousand, yeah. as you rightly say. Well, that's a seventeen hundred pound difference. Yeah. I think 500 of that goes on to the GFE. Yeah. So in effect, you're only funding sort of a thousand, twelve hundred, twenty pound a month, yeah. which, you know, oh, mate, it's I, worth. I it. earn that a second on YouTube now, so yeah, I, I honestly don't know. No, this time last year was good, but this year's just yeah. Anyway, um, let's. Uh, There's so, a okay. lot of options. Let's get into the options. There's a lot of options before yeah. people start turning <laughs> off. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Stay to the end, there's a big surprise. <laughs> I don't know what that would be, but we'll have to make up something. Um, anyway. Right. So, uh, visibility pack. pack, yes. No brainer. No brainer. Again, I live out of, I live in the sticks. Uh, there's nothing that compares to laser lights. Literally nothing, honestly, once you're used to them. The LED lights are brilliant, but the laser lights are just another level. Yeah. Um, I, I noticed it on that, that drive from your gates up to the house, it's about two miles. And, and two kilometers. Two kilometers, yeah. sorry. And, and, and you know, it's pitch black. And yeah. obviously, when you get up to the mansion, it does help just sort of, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. visually. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, no, but you might. Did you have the porter running after you with his No, I was, actually, I thought the valet parking would have come out, but it just, uh, it must have been their day off. Yeah, so, yeah, anyway. yeah, yeah. They get one a year. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> right, <Anyway>. biz pack. <laughs> we were being so sensible. Yeah, I know. It's all oh, gone no. down here. Sorry, guys, we're losing oh. the plot. It's because it's gone dark. <laughs> it's, it's, um, biz pack, yes. Yeah, yeah. So biz pack, fifteen hundred yeah, quid, yeah. no brainer. Yeah. Um, it's it's fairly essential on residual value as well on this model. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just like you know, I don't know. No one wants to talk about what the car will be worth later on, but no. that that's something you get pretty much all of your money back on. So and aesthetically, they look good even when they're off. With the yeah, hundred percent. Um, yeah. 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 So um, we don't need to do pro pack. You're not worried about ceramic brakes. Um, a no. day out, a day out with BMW, which is part of the pack. Um, no, I so could, I could probably blag. Yeah, that. you've yeah. probably done more than those, than they probably actually the trainers <laughs> have given. Um, so right, tech pluck plus pack. Um, yes. Is, it, it, it's a driver's car. Yeah. So you know, I, I mean, some people love all of the security and the you know the technology. I don't want to knock it because somebody has developed so many different systems on the car. Yeah. You actually get a lot of stuff for your money. They won't go through it now because yeah. you literally viewers will be turning off. Yeah. But you know, it's a seventeen hundred fifty pound package. You've never had it. I'm very surprised if you do want it. No. I doubt you ever use cruise control. Never mind adaptive cruise control. I d no. You, well, you... ironically, I do use cruise. Norm I yep. love normal cruise. Yep. It's not trying to do things. It's yeah, just yeah. cruise. Yeah. Because two things. Number one, it does, you know, take the strain off your foot on long journeys, yeah. and you can. Yeah. But yeah. number two, it also keeps you alert because yeah. the car's not doing anything. And legal. Like, and legal. Yeah. Yeah, you just set it to ninety, and then it's legal, right? Yeah. <laughs> no, don't you, speed on. Don't right. speed anywhere. I'm, no. I'm not a track a, day. A, track days track, are where you let your hair. Yeah, which yeah. which I do. The more track day stuff I do, the slower. Yeah. Yep. I mean, 100%. I drive like a snail on the yeah. road now, yeah. Yeah. 100%. Um, because you get it or take it to Germany uh, yeah. while yeah. while there's still autobahns. Get your car over to Germany and go and have some fun. So we selected the carbon pack already. Yep. So that's your exterior styling pack and your carbon bucket seats. Yep. Which is um, what's that? Six seven fifty. So six seven fifty. Yeah. That's about the same. It's always been six seven fifty. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah. no price difference, okay. and it, it's. Um, I think there's a small saving going over because you can un unusually this one you can buy as two two components. So you yeah. can buy the exterior carbon pack for forty one hundred on its own. Yeah. And the seats are available at thirty four hundred. Sure. So that's seven and a half. So by my reckoning, six seven fifty is a bit less. Yep. So it's a saving to go for them. And again, it, it, you know, most people are financing. A lot of that goes on to the residual value at the yep. end, or a chunk of it does. Yeah. Not, not a lot of it, a chunk of it. So um, it's worth doing. Um, and those seats. Yeah. Um, again, yeah. they're a no-brainer. Yeah. For those of you that haven't watched my videos before, haven't, I still get asked lots about the seats, whether they're worth going for. And I, I understand why, um, why people, I mean, the bottom line is they are the best seats on the planet. I mean, I'm a big Porsche fan, as most petrol heads are. 
and Porsche's buckets are good, but they're not as good as, as the BM ones. Um, for the simple reason that the BM ones are adjustable everywhere, the backrest, yeah. everything. <clears throat> but they are so comfortable. Lou and I did a big road trip this year and last year, petrol head tours. You're in the car nine, ten hours a day for six or seven days, eight days in a row. No issues because they are so comfortable. Pretty much all shapes and sizes. Um, but the, there is the, ne the negative with them is um, they are a bucket seat essentially. So if you're getting in and out of them yeah. ten times a day, if you're doing your school runs, you're doing this and that, and you're not taking your car on track or doing spirit of driving, then it is worth looking at the regular M sports seats because they're still a brilliant seat. In isolation, they're fantastic. Yeah. But these, and then and then we start talking about the, as the, the aesthetics mm. of them and they are just, I mean, anyone, that, people still today, they, they look at, when I, oh, whoa, look at those, it's just yeah. like, they yeah. are just, they're yeah, they're, a, they're a work of art, aren't they? I think they when, when, I don't know if it's still the case now, but when they came out, they were the, the world's first um, two-piece reclining carbon seats, yes, so yeah. so that was a key thing. That everything else is is a fixed bucket, basically. Yeah, yeah. Which you know, I've I've got on the Alpine, as you say, all the Porsches are, and, and they're yeah. they're okay. But on a long drive, you do want to adjust it a little bit. Yes. So and that's the beauty of that. Yeah. Um, and I've I have been using them on my daily, uh, and I've got used to getting in. You do eventually work a way out of sliding in and out. Yeah. Without actually catching yourself or rubbing the seat, you know. So yeah. it, it it's just a bit of practice. But I'm, I'm with you. Yeah. They're the best seats I think I've ever had in a car and yeah. they're just the wow factor of them as well it's just an added bonus isn't yeah. it? and you can hit they're, they're heated um yeah. obviously fully, fully electrical electric memory, memory. Yeah. well that's the other thing what comes down there's so much standard equipment on these yeah. um head up display hk sound electric and heated seats um mirrors yeah. mirrors fold, i mean some pro glass some pro, there's yeah. so yeah. much stuff that's standard if you wanted to just get one out of the box and you're pushing your sort of you know your your budget then it comes you're with not everything. short change you're yeah, not short change right. yeah yeah um but anyway sorry we're, we're getting sidetracked yeah so, so, comfort, so we're down, we're down there so yeah comfort right. pack what so about we're that so, so we're not going comfort pack comfort pack no I, yeah i asked you about that but you're, you're not a fan of the comfort access element of it are you so, no and that's that's the main content of that because the heat yeah. steering wheel you could have on its own if you really wanted it. Yeah. No. Um, and extended storage content, so just you know bits and bobs and places to put stuff, which yeah. which all comes as part of that pack. So, yeah. you know, a lot of people do take it because they love the comfort access um, and the digital key that comes with it, so yeah. you can use your oh, phone. Of course. So that's quite useful. Oh, so, yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, yeah, I don't even have. I don't even have the app. No, no. I'm so. Yeah. Thanks. Was, yeah, so because that's quite an important thing. I know yeah. that's one thing I need to. Yeah. You will be downloading it before you get your next car. Yeah, let me tell you. Yeah. Um, the ultimate. <laughs> the problem is the the guy that I brought my M3 off. Oh, what's his name? Can't remember. He didn't. He didn't teach me anything about how to use the Apple. Just literally wanted to get me out the door as quick as possible. Because his real uh, customers were coming in straight after. <laughs> anyway, moving swiftly on. Um, <laughs> ultimate pack. <laughs> Ultimate pack. So that's basically everything except yeah. carbon ceramics, isn't it? Yeah, effectively. Yeah. So you, you'll get your, your full carbon pack in there. Yeah. You get the um, Tech Tech Plus pack effectively in there as well. And Extended it, lever. Laser so lights. Sort of full, full merino lever rather. Yeah, so you'd not actually probably find that actually, yeah. actually if you added up what we spent, yeah, if it's you, not far off. No, if you were going comfort pack, yeah. carbon pack. And then... And and the um, Tech Plus pack, yeah. definitely you just go well ultimate pack straight yeah. off because you're saving yourself yep. fifteen hundred odd pounds so yep. by selecting it. So, yeah. but we know you don't want those bits from the Comfort pack or the no. Tech Plus pack, so we can move swiftly on from that one. Yeah. So then we've done the wheels, so we're all right. We can skip just down a little bit here. So as I say, the heated steering wheel, if you wanted that from the Comfort Pack, it's available as a single option, which right. these days is a rare thing because most things have been put into packs. Yeah. So we can get around that. Um, ceramic brakes will only come in the in the driver's pack, as we've already yeah. talked about, which you're not worried about. It just highlights a few things that are standard, just as you were sort of reiterating too, the M Adaptive Suspension standard, the M Sport Differential. Yeah. Um, comfort access is only part of that pack, so we can move down from here. Yeah. So then we've got choice of brakes. Oh. Well, see, this is going to be another this is like, surprise. This, this is like <laughs> deja vu. We were there before. <laughs> well, I, I, I don't regret anything that I've got on my M3 at the moment, my saloon. I really like that spec. Um, but I know <laughs> when I when we did the ordering video and the collection video... Should have gone for red brakes. There was a lot of people that were like, you should have gone for red brakes. Have you put your mic on back? You, you put your yeah. mic on inside <laughs> out? Yeah, you can hear my heart beating. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, is that going to work? Probably not. Uh, 
Maybe just, <laughs> maybe just no, 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 yeah, no, no, no leave what? that in your pocket. No, you put, you've got the mic on the inside, so it's listening to your chest hair. Yeah. Well, there is no chest hair. It's working fine. Look. Yeah, yeah. Jesus. Anyway, you'll hear the last five minutes. Whatever he says isn't important. Anyway. <laughs> Um, it's only a thin t-shirt, it works yeah. fine. Do you shave your chest? No. Oh, wow. I am just hairless. I wish I had as little hair as that on my chest. No hairy back either. Oh, okay. <laughs> anyway. If any ladies are watching. <laughs> uh, what are we talking about? We've I don't know. We've got <laughs> <laughs> Now that's you, a that, lie. Yeah. That's got to be edited out. Yeah, that's, that's not going to be edited out. Um, but yeah, Done I think for liable. we're kind of getting to the... Your brakes. The brakes, that's it. Yeah, yeah that's brakes. what we're talking about. So the red brake caliper. And I'm not admitting to making the wrong decision because I like my black, my black calipers. But we're going to go red with this one. Yes. Uh, and, and I think the main reason is that the Fiona, why I didn't do it with Saloon, was the Fiona red and the red brake calipers, they're not the same red. They're very similar, but they're not the same. So this car's got absolutely no red elements going on in obviously the, the silverstone interior and stuff. So I think the red calipers would just break the car up a little bit. Um, just take an OCD to a whole new level. A whole new Different level. Different shades of red. Oh no, the light lens is on the back. Oh. Get rid of them. <laughs> it's another <laughs> I red. I forgot about them. Yeah. So oh, TPC right. on the red calipers. Brilliant. No, but right. yeah, let's red, go with them. Red brakes we've got. Right. Red brakes. And then all this stuff we've already done. So yep. we know electric memory seats are standard. We've ticked the carbon bucket seat. You get front and rear parking sensors as standard and a rear camera yeah. standard. Did not really notice this one before because I don't think anyone's ever mentioned it or asked for it. But you, you can deselect. No, you can't. I'll okay. deselect the carbon. Yeah, I thought you no. could, but it's saying you can't. So okay. maybe that's because we've got the full lever. I don't know. But anyway, yeah. um, it says it's on there. I, but no one's ever going to ask me for that. So I'm going to skip right the way down to the next option. So parking assistant plus. Yes. £650 option. If you had the app on your phone, yep. you'd actually be able to just click into your 3D camera and have a little look around your car. Wow. From your lounge. So well, just to see what's going on. So, well, that um, is cool. That's it's, one feature. That's one feature. That's probably not the feature that would get me to tick that box. No, okay. Um, so the uh, feature that would get me to tick that box is the surround camera because yeah. I think it's really cool, especially on the curved display with the graphics that are so good now. Um, it's it's cool uh, and it is useful as well in terms of obviously the touring is a bit bigger. Well, it's yeah. not it's not got a bigger footprint, but it's a bit bulkier. You've got the big uh, you know yeah. back end and stuff. Might be a bit harder to park near curbs and stuff. But I just I like the surround view and I think having that lovely display in front and that not popping up for me yep. would be a bit of a uh, a bit like the extended leather thing. Yeah. It's yep. something you don't need, but something if if you can yeah. justify yep. it. Uh, then, um, then yeah. So we'll go with that one. Okay. Yeah. So when we go with that, it also selects the drive recorder. So it's got a built-in HD drive recorder. Yeah. It's basically recording on a continuous loop. Yeah. And if the car detects an accident, yeah. you can program it so it will record the 20 seconds before the accident up to 20 seconds behind. So you get a 40-second clip. Yeah. Recorded into the hard drive that you can then download and use as evidence. Can you delete so, that as well? Um, well, I, why would you want to delete it? It's not like it's going to be your fault. That's so, true. So, so no, clearly, I'm... but it's available. Yeah. And, and there's an override button as well. There's a camera yeah. button you can just hold down. Yeah. So actually, if you witness something happening you in the can, street yeah. in front of you, you can record it and use yeah. it as evidence for it. So that's built in, comes part no, it's of it. I mean, with some of the, the drivers out there at the moment, yeah. it's um, I've actually got a Nextbase um, dash cam at the moment, which I use. Yeah. And since I put it in, I'm just like, why would I not have this in yeah, there? Yeah. Um, because it just captures something. There's that so happen. much more likely someone else is going to crash into your car. And because yeah. you drive a faster car, yeah. of course, everyone sort of makes an assumption, oh, you must have been going too fast in yeah. your car because you've got an M3. Well, it's a bit louder than... Yeah, yeah. so yeah. I think yeah. I think it's a really yeah. useful feature. Okay. And it records in all four directions, so front, rear, and both sides, okay. and then just saves the clip to the hard drive. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, so we've selected that. Yeah. So coming down, we've done the exterior carbon pack. There is the M drivers pack separated out from the um, M drivers um, plus pack. Yep. We looked at up here, so the Pro pack rather at seven double nine five. You can go for the M drivers pack. So if you want to delimit the speed, or not delimit it, but yeah. reduce the restriction, yeah, um, and get a day out with BMW on an M drivers day, that's there at two oh nine five. Yeah, um, and 
something else which if if only you kept your car longer i'd convince you this is an absolute worthwhile thing but certainly for customers that are looking at buying their cars you know keeping them for the full four years yeah so now bmw have put the uk service inclusive packs onto each car right they are a little bit more money on the m cars because we do have the running in service at 1250 ah, miles to take yeah. into account and that that can be four or five hundred pounds yeah. on its own yeah so for 1973 you effectively get a, a you know a five-year service plan on the car yeah. so it's effectively going to cover you for your running in service year two and year four yeah and that will save you about four or five hundred pounds overall okay but more importantly 99 percent of customers are financing yeah that service inclusive plan actually increases your residual value the balloon payment right which lowers your monthly payment so you're actually not fi financing the whole 1973 you're actually financing about 1200 pounds of it wow so effectively it's like 25 pounds a month for yeah. the four years yeah servicing is all done fixed and the way things are going with costs yeah. you can guarantee service prices are going to keep going up yeah that's inflation proofed because wow. you buy it at the outset yeah um, and then just put it on the finance and if you don't want to pay interest on it just increase your deposit to cancel it out yeah but it's a no-brainer really I mean for us you know on a one series it's like you know you're looking at one and three series at six seven hundred pounds Wow so a lot of people are, are sort of missing out on that option it's yeah. definitely worth looking at for you I appreciate you're likely to be changing your car sooner rather than later. Yes, yeah. So and no doubt you'll twist my arm to come and get your running in service done here, you know, cheap as chips. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing like a bit of bribery. All you've got to do is bring me 12 Krispy Kreme donuts. Where are those and biscuits talking about? <laughs> where, where have you hidden them, Tony? Down here, mate. Oh. <laughs> Can I have one? <laughs> no. <laughs> so, M drivers pack, no need, and UK service inclusive because it doesn't suit your 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 needs basically uh -huh. for you. So we'll mm. pass on that. But honestly, anyone taking a four year finance agreement, service inclusive is back, and it's well worth doing. And blue brakes, we forgot about those, didn't we? Because mm -hmm. we're so busy talking about red and black. Mm -hmm. Don't forget we do blue brakes. Sorry, have you got your mouth full? Mm -hmm. That's all right. Yeah. So on that basis, Joe, yeah, that's your deal done. List price. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Just sign there. Thank mm -hmm. you. Can't even answer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry, they're really good. <laughs> they are too good. What are they? Choco? Leobits. Leobits. Yeah. They're really They do good. different flavours. They do a dark one. The dark, if you like dark chocolate, oh. the dark one. But yeah, Choco Leobits. Lou likes dark chocolate. These are really Maybe good. Maybe I'll... Um... Okay. Available from any supermarket. Yeah. Yeah, Bowser. Yeah, other biscuit brands are available. Um, okay, well that's so, great. So, yeah, so blue yeah. brakes is an option for anyone buying a car that they think the blue brakes are going to work better with it, yeah. just from an aesthetic point of view. Um, and also just point out, accessory track star. Mm. So M3, M4 tends to need trackers yeah. for most, you know, for most people's insurance these days because of the value and the risk. So we can actually tick a box and have the accessory track star fitted, 500 pounds. That's the S7 with key fobs. Um, you still have to pay the subscription on top. Yeah. So the 500 is for the parts effectively okay. fitted to the car yeah. and it'll arrive and it's all done. So again, it's an easy box to tick. Cool. Um, so yeah, there you go. So that's you in a nutshell then, isn't it really? Brilliant. So we'll tick all that lot into the little box here. Yeah. Let it tot itself up. And there we go. There's your spec. Amazing. So the base car is what, 80? 85.50 plus the on the on the road, so yeah. Like 82, 83. Yeah, 83, isn't it? Okay. Um, then we've got the Dravic Grey, this yeah. extended Silverstone on there. There's a bit, so we've got two, like three, yeah. one and a half. So we've got eight, nine there. We've got about 10, 11 12,000. 12,000 pounds worth of options on there. Um, and so what is the what is the total on it? So this doesn't put the on-road costs oh, okay. on. So this is, because this is just our specking sheet. So that's so ninety two and a half plus on roads. Yeah. So, so you got you got you got nearly three thousand pounds of on the road. So you're you're you're, you're ninety five and a half ish. Yeah. yeah. We'll round it down to ninety five for you. Yeah. Seeing as it's like the thirty thousand car that you bought from us. Thank you very and, much. And and you've sent customers our way through through your wonderful channel. Yeah. Oh, do some of them yeah. actually come to see? A you? lot yeah. of your customers oh. say, "I've been what their opening line. I have been watching Joe's videos. As soon as I see that, I just hit the delete. No, <laughs> I don't. I don't hit the delete. Joe probably. No, yeah. No. yeah. A lot of people actually do. Uh, Message me asking, oh, you know, I've talked to. No, you've got to remember, there's only one Tony Lewis, and especially busy periods of time when there are new models or coming up to March or September. He's a busy guy, um, and he does occasionally have a night off or a day off or sometimes a few days off. So you just got to be patient. You got to be patient. Yeah, with I do get a bit of pressure sometimes. I, yeah. I have to be honest. Instagram's the the hardest one at the minute because you know it, it's grown. It's just unbelievably. You yeah. know, thanks to you more than anyone. No, 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 hundred percent. I mean, it's just 
it's just ridiculous how it's grown. But what comes with that, of course, is I'd love to reply to every single message I get, and yeah. I really do try every day. Yeah. But sometimes you just don't catch up, and yeah. then I get it's the a I get circle. and then I get the dreaded question mark, oh, and, yeah. and, and that that puts me on edge. When someone just puts question mark, it's like yeah. it's like well, it's, it's almost like they say, "Why haven't you replied to me?" Yeah. You know, and I just say sorry to these guys, but I you just I can't keep up with it sometimes. But it's so. really difficult. So. I mean, you do, I think even once you've got about five thousand. We're talking about real followers because a lot of people have fake accounts. But when you've actually got five or ten thousand genuine followers, if the, the thing is, we both like to talk to people, yeah, ask yeah, us questions. Yeah, yeah. I like to reply to everyone, and I do get there eventually. But as, as I'm sure you can appreciate, it gets harder and harder. I'm almost at eighty thousand real yeah. uh, followers. I hate quick followers, friends. Yeah. Um, but. Yeah, but, and the thing is, if you open a conversation with someone, yeah. then it, rightly so, they're going to talk to you. Yeah. And they yeah. go, oh, Joe's replied. Yeah. yeah. And it's great, and I enjoy it, but there is a time, sometimes you're just like, oh my God, I've got 50 or 100 messages to reply to. Yeah. And they're not always quite simple ones. No. no. Um, but so, yeah, just bear with both of we, us. We're all, I think we, we're both for the same page. We always try and get back to everyone. It just takes a little bit longer sometimes to get back to everyone. A lot of people just, so, a lot of, YouTubers, they just ignore everyone, and yeah, yeah. I'm sure that makes their life a lot easier. But at the same time, it's like, you know, I always feel like I owe you lot something, and in, in, and if that's it, then that's it. You know, replying to you or talking to you on the street. But um, but anyway, uh, getting off subject a bit. But yeah. obviously, Tony's details are going to be in the description below, as always. Um, and I'll put a link, obviously, to to Barry BMW as well because they've got a number of dealers now. You've got. We've got the fight. Yeah, we've got. We obviously started with Heathrow and Chiswick. Then yeah. we moved on to uh, Thames Ditton. Then we went here to Croydon, and then we've taken over Cobham as well. So yeah. we've basically got that whole corridor sort of from West London round to Surrey. Yeah. So that's our five sites now. Um, and yeah, and we're and we're growing. We, we'll still buy. You know, we'll be taking over more sites. So that, that's obviously made us bigger. I, I will always try and get back to every customer. All I'd yeah. ask is you please use the email that Joe will link to, use the email address to contact me for any quotes. Yeah. I really can't reply to a quote on how much a car costs on Instagram. It's impossible to sit there and work it all out on here, then tap it into a phone. Yeah. It's not linked, unfortunately. I have to go online and do it all. So um, it's always best just email me if you need anything. Uh, and I'll get back to everybody as quick as I can. And uh, I'm ever so grateful for anyone that emails me for a quote because it's it's all I do. So it's it's my livelihood. Yeah. And it's got better and better thanks to you and your channel. No, no, you've always been your own entity. Um, mm, but, uh, but no, it's it's always nice working with you um, and buying expensive cars with you. Um, yeah. but, this, uh, this one's the most expensive. <laughs> it's, well, no, it's, is it, it's gone up. <laughs> is it is it more than seven? Oh, actually, oh, the seven was always around the hundred, but the yeah. seven were like the deals you used to get in the seven yeah. were crazy. They were a hundred, but you get forty thousand off. Yeah, forty so grand like... off. It was like two percent AP. Like you know, it's yeah. Big, uh, back yeah, amazing. Um, that, that's another thing, actually, guys. The APRs are changing, so just be aware of that. You know, it's not that we've put our prices up or anything else, but the cost of borrowing is going up. Clearly, yeah. Bank of England rates Everywhere. go up, so so the banks are putting their rates up, so our borrowing rates going up, so. Lock your deal in as early as possible, get your car locked in, and then you'll get your, your rates secured. As long as we've got a build week, then the quote you've been given is effectively gonna stand, even if the car's a year or 18 months away. Yeah. It must have a build week, that's yeah. the most important thing. Okay. Cool. Cool. Well, I think I'm gonna wrap this video up now. We're gonna wrap this video up. Um, thanks a lot for watching as always. I hope you found this one interesting. Uh, it always surprises me and Tony, I think that people do tend to find these interesting. Uh, but then I end up online watching people like Nick Murray specking a Porsche doing exactly the same thing. So I, I understand why. Um, I enjoy doing it. It's, it's a great experience uh, ordering a new car full stop. And this one we've ordered twice, essentially. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, but um, yes, yeah, so I look forward to the car arriving whenever it arrives at some point next year. Um, I'm not on... <laughs> Oh, what, 2025? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. no, no, no. You're, you're, you're right at the front of the queue. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I'm not on some special... I know people think <laughs> people think that I'm on this magic list that just, you know... I, I've, I've had good luck with my cars. Yeah, yeah. Um, they have the blue one we ordered a long way in advance. The yeah. X-Drive did turn up really quickly, um, but I'm not on a special list. No, no, genuinely, um, you are in a queue. There is a queue of people that have ordered the M3s. Yeah. 
and there are people well in front of you that will get their car before you. Yeah, yeah. And I do get a lot where people just say, oh, they, the YouTubers always get their cars first. No. And it's just, well, look at Archie's M240. You know, he gave up in the end. He didn't, yeah. he didn't get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, and now he wants an M2 and, yeah. and, and he's not getting one. Of, no, he is getting one of those. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. So, so we, we, we do treat people, you know, honestly, as fairly as we can. Yeah, That's well, it's a not principle. even you. It's like, I think no, people no. assume yeah. that BMW yeah. Germany go, oh, Joey Kitt, no. it's like, no. no. Um, no. no, they don't know from it. They literally just go to the dealers. There's your block of cars. Yeah. They're the months they're in, and you just there's your order number attached Allocate to each one. To, yeah, 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 and it'll be what it'll be basically. So, yeah. fingers crossed. Cool. cool. Um, thanks for watching. Make sure you do follow him on Instagram, and uh, I will see you at another video very, very soon. Cheers. Cheers, guys.